Dr. King, according to Ralph Abernathy, had he not succeeded mm -hmm. as a civil rights leader, he would have succeeded as a stand-up communist. communist. That's right. That's, that's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> but had not uh, uh, Barack Obama been the president of the United States, he would have succeeded as what? A, a stand-up stand communist. communist. That's, yes, right. that's exactly it. That's so it. to say that Dr. King was in some ways the comedian of the civil mm -hmm. rights movement, is not to trivialize uh, or to his role. That's right. That's, I he was a tremendous leader, mm -hmm. but he was able to inject humor mm -hmm. and wit mm -hmm. and laughter into the movement. And, I, and even in the most difficult mm -hmm. situations, because, uh, for an example, before they moved into Birmingham in 1963, uh, Dr. King uh, preached a mocked eulogy. Mm -hmm. For Ralph Abernathy and others who were involved said, <laughs> look, <laughs> we're going in, into Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Some of us not, might not make it. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to say over your mm -hmm. dead body. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it created a lot of laughter and that kind of thing. And, and it eased a lot of the tension a, uh -huh. and the anxiety that's that came uh -huh. with, with these that's right. demonstrations. That's right. So yeah, he was able to inject humor and it became very acceptable in the circles of the Southern mm -hmm. Christian Leadership Conference and in the larger context of the civil rights mm -hmm. movement. Mm -hmm. Laughter does something. There, there's something that, that, that you can do with laughter and that you can't do in any other way. It has a healing yeah. effect. effect. And Dr. Mm -hmm. King understood that, a healing effect. Uh, so he, he, he turned to laughter and humor. We know that, that spirituality was important. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. praying, that kind of thing. But laughter, humor, mm -hmm. Uh, sustain them in the context, mm -hmm. re-energize them mm -hmm. in the context of the movement. And, and we have to look at laughter and humor if we're going to understand why Dr. King was such a resilient mm -hmm. personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he understood that. Yeah, he, absolutely. He understood the importance of, of a good joke, uh, a good statement uh, that will bring about laughter yeah. at a special time has a healing yes, uh, quality yeah. and, and, and characteristic. And in, and, and in that sense, he was part of a culture because as far back as the days of slavery, you find that African-Americans were able to laugh mm -hmm. at their condition. Mm -hmm. And uh, James Weldon Johnson wrote about that mm -hmm. in the 1930s, mm -hmm. about the, the gift of laughter, mm -hmm. humor mm -hmm. in the black community as, as, and how it was a compensating That's mechanism. Right. Laugh instead of crying. Yes. That's and exactly helped, what it, it is. Now, sometimes you, you want to cry, but you, you might be too old to cry, and so you come up with something with funny laughter. in reference to laughter. Yes, yeah, yeah, it I was a compensating that. mechanism. Right. It, it had a healing effect, mm -hmm. and Dr. King was an heir of that. Mm -hmm. So he was able to bring humor mm -hmm. and laughter into a, in, in the context of the right, movement. That's right. And, that, and that's a good quality to be able to understand.